Hi, I'm Corey Rich, Nikon Ambassador. Now we'll head outside and actually record a 360 video. After that, I'll show you how to download the 360 video onto your device. From there, I'll teach you how to upload that video to Facebook and YouTube with a few extra tips for how to optimize this process. Before we get going, make sure you have a dedicated Facebook app and or YouTube app installed on your device. If you want to use the SnapBridge 360 170 share feature, you'll need these additional apps installed on your device. And of course, you'll need to be signed into your accounts within the apps. Facebook and YouTube are currently the only social platforms to support 360 video and allow viewers to interact and take full advantage of the 360 technology. All right, let's do it. Let's go outside and shoot some 360 video. Okay, we've made it outside. It's a beautiful park with some wonderful fall colors and I convinced my wife Marina to join me. I'm using an extension arm with the Key Mission 360 camera and now the goal is of course to shoot some video. Now before shooting it's important to orient the camera. The Nikon logo represents the front of the camera and the Nikkor logo is the back of the camera so this is the back lens. This is important when reviewing your video if you ever want to return to the home position. When you're ready to start recording video depress the red movie button on top of the camera. When the status lights turn solid red, that means you're recording. Now, if you want to turn the camera on, but you're not ready to actually record, go ahead and hold the movie button down for three seconds. This brings the camera to life and is now on standby. To shoot stills, it's the button on the side. That's your shutter button. Of course, all of this can be done via your smart device using SnapBridge. Okay, I've put the camera on an extension arm. Now we're ready to record video. I simply depress the movie button. Two red indicator lights, that means we're rolling. And let's do it, I'm gonna follow you. All right, I'm going to transfer the video I just shot from the camera to my device. First, I toggle over to the camera tab and click on download selected pictures. As I mentioned in the last video, I need a Wi-Fi connection between the camera and the device in order to download a video. After selecting Go, I'm taken to the SnapBridge app settings page within the main settings on my device. From here, I have to navigate back to my Wi-Fi settings page. I click back, scroll up, and select Wi-Fi. Since I've already entered my password once, I don't need to do it again. Once your Wi-Fi is connected, return to the SnapBridge 360-170 app. Choose Download Selected Pictures again, and this shows all of the stills and video saved to the camera's SD card. Here's my favorite video from today. I'm going to select it and choose to download it to my device. Keep in mind, because these are 4K files shot in 360 degrees, the download times, especially for videos, could be long. When you hit download, you might be prompted with this message. If you see this message, just click OK and know that your files are already in the process of downloading in the background. Under this workflow, there's no compression. You're getting the full file. That means that we're talking about roughly four minutes of transfer time for a one minute video. You can now play back the full video within the SnapBridge app. If you go to the camera roll on your device and try to watch the video, it will look like a conventional flat video. Don't be concerned. To preview the video or still in 360, you need to open the SnapBridge app or upload it to either Facebook or YouTube. As I mentioned, these are the only social platforms that support the full 360 functionality. One of the coolest aspects of shooting in 360 is sharing your 360 video with your friends and family. Before you upload a 360 video to either Facebook or YouTube, in general, you have to apply metadata to the file to prepare it for those sites. The SnapBridge 360-170 app, as well as the Key Mission 360-170 utility software for the computer, which we're going to discuss in the next segment, does all of this for you. Select the Edit button, which is the pencil icon located in the playback. Choose Add YouTube Metadata. Select OK. The app will prompt you with the option to either keep the original file or write a new file with the YouTube metadata. I recommend pressing no so you can keep both files. The app prepares the file for YouTube as well as Facebook. So to be clear, even though the app only says YouTube, the function also works for Facebook. 
cancel out of the edit screen, go back to the gallery and select the new version of the video, which now contains the YouTube metadata. Now tap the share icon in the lower left corner of the screen. From this menu, you can select either Facebook or YouTube to begin uploading your video directly to the site. Needless to say, you will need to have a Facebook account if you want to upload to Facebook. And if you want to upload to YouTube, you'll need to have a Google account. For a Facebook share, you can add a caption and then hit post. Depending on the size of the file, there will be an upload time while Facebook processes the video, compresses it, and makes it compatible with our settings. Once it's uploaded, you and your friends can interact with the video on Facebook. You can interact with the video by using your mouse on a computer screen, swiping the screen on your smart device, or moving the device around. We're even viewing the video with a 360 headset. To share to YouTube, the process is the same. To upload 360 stills to Facebook, there are no additional steps. After you've downloaded the file, simply upload the 360 photo as you would of any other image. We've found that the most efficient uploads happen through your computer. If you find you're shooting a lot of 360 video, you might want to consider Apple's Lightning to SD card reader for faster downloads to your iPad or iPhone. 